today we are replacing and painting installing a mirror for 15 F-150. So right here. There, there, yeah. So we got uh, one, one mirror for the driver's side, not painted, not installed. We got fifty-six, sixty-three off. Gave us a discount for a thousand dollars after tax, eleven hundred and thirty dollars Canadian. Yep. This is a mirror from the dealer. Should be in there. Okay. Okay, so this piece here, there's these little tabs right there and right there. You gotta pull back on those and then pull the mirror off at the same time. It's gonna feel like it breaks, but you just gotta pull. And when you do, it comes off. Make sure to keep pressure as close to the middle here so you don't crack the mirror. So try and get your hand in there as far around this metal piece as you can. And when it comes off, there's wires attached. So there's this plug here, which plugs into the white connector, and then there's this one here, the little orange thing on. So undo those, and you're free to go. Okay, so we got the torques here, 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 and here to get this outer cover off, which will give us access to the rest of these clips to get the outer cap off. Yeah, so all of these screws in here, it is a Torx 15. Okay, so now with those done, you gotta fold the mirror and then just kind of pry up on this part to get all of that loose. And then we're actually in here and we can disconnect all of the electrical goodies. There we go, now we can just disconnect this. And we are free. All right, so now for this part to get the actual black textured plastic off of the part we're gonna be painting, there's more clips. There's one, two, three and four. So these are the same as before. The other one, you just kind of push it and push it. You know how clips work. So we're going to do that, get this off, and then we're ready to go get paint. Screwdriver in, under, and down. Okay, so after you approximately fight with these for about an hour, hair loss starts to happen, stress gains, you begin drinking, but eventually you do get it off. Now we can take this piece, Scuff it up, prime it, paint it, clear coat, put it all back together, and have a blue mirror match the truck. Make sure to uh, check your blind spot the mirror there. So we got the red scotch spray, we have the mirror cap itself, which we're gonna scuff up, then we have the primer, and the color match paint, and the clear coat, 2K. So we uh, crack that onto the bottom there, and that releases the catalyst, so that'll be similar to a spray gun. Try and get some professional results out of this thing. So there we go. It's all scuffed up. Now we can wipe this down. Just like that. Cleaned. So now we can prime it. So that's the first coat of primer. It's already starting to dry. Mostly just getting it on the bottom edges. Made sure to scuff a lot in there because that will be where it'll chip. Those are usually the areas that uh, get the least amount of attention. So that is the second coat of primer. Just starting to dry. So we'll let this one dry a little bit longer than the other one so that way we can scuff just a little bit because you can see some very, very minor imperfections right there. Just kind of in the light there. So scuffing, we'll get that out. No big deal. And we can finally paint it. Oh yeah, it's already drying over there. Oh, 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 buddy. Oh, this is wonderful. There we go, all scuffed up. So now I'm going to do one really light coat primer just as kind of like a level over top of it make sure everything's good and then we'll do the first coat of paint so primer is finally done we're about to start the first coat of paint making sure to get all of the edges first the first coat of blue 
mostly just went in the edges. Getting everything under there. Then just a quick kind of tack coat over top just to get some color down. So that's the third coat of paint just finished up. Just letting that dry a little bit before we do the clear coat. Got the clear coat. This is the first coat. So this is just the tack coat over top. I'm about to do the second coat. It's going to give it a lot of orange peel. We'll, we'll flex that. This is the second coat. Got orange peel as expected. You can see the orange peel there. See the orange peel there, so that'll get filled in on the third coat when we go for the wet coat. There we go. So this is coat three, wet coat. I'm gonna pull this off that one screw. Go over there, out of the way. Shoot near it. And the one below it. Yeah, that matches, eh? There you go. Okay, that's oh, it. Okay, so. Present for you. Christmas. That's okay. Thanks. Early Christmas present. <laughs> there you go. Straighten the mirror out because it's folded right now. Oh, now put that in, but put it in through the window because you have to hold it while you're putting the bolt. Okay. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> now test. Okay. Light works. Blinker works. The LED light? Yep, that works. Okay. Oh, we are in business. Sweet. So now back to these. And now uh, these are the two 10 mil bolts that go in, the black ones. And the wire clip back on. And. Now just get the trim back over that. So there's the clips there. Yep. That's it. Now when the clear coat's dry on the cap, we can put that on. Oh, it's bright out. So there we go. It's the mirror all done. It's all working. It's just starting to snow. We're not gonna be able to see it for much longer, but it's blue. And it's already kind of covered in some dirt. Okay guys, that was it. It was a really simple job, very straightforward. The paint itself takes a little bit, but I've been painting for years, so it's not something super over in my head. I would have preferred to use spray guns, but it is the middle of winter right now, so we're not able to spray outside. But for a $97 paint job that we did in the backyard and then let it dry in the kitchen, it's pretty good for those standards. And he's happy with it, so I consider this a win.